Hi everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial in CSS and JavaScript. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can create this uh, kind of 3D feel and look purely using CSS, using perspective property of CSS. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, the use case for this, for this purpose is I just wanted to show you how you can utilize this to create this kind of feeling. So in this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can create this field and in the next tutorial which is going to happen uh, probably in a couple of days you're going to get to know how you can utilize JavaScript to create this kind of cool interactivity. There, there is another kind of example I created. Uh, it, it's, it's worth its own tutorial but I'm going to share the link anyways. So for example this use case is like you know uh, you know, in case where you have some, some elements that, you know, you need to either approve or cancel it, you can see that, you know, you can get this very nice 3D looking effect that you can either use these buttons or you can actually use your mouse to kind of, you know, sweep them left or right to kind of approve or disapprove it, right? So if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do. Uh, so that you get notification when I create new tutorials uh, and please don't hesitate you know sharing you know liking if you feel like you like this tutorial or any other tutorial in my channel so that I can continue creating these nice tutorials for you alright so let's get started um, so so here you can see that I have defined a container element a container div and within that container div I added my cards, which are represented using these four cards, right? And then I obviously not only gave them the cards so that I can give them the same styles, but also I defined the first, second, third, and fourth so that I can define, uh, you know, explicit uh, translate properties for these ones. So in the CSS side on the container, I have uh, defined the width and height of the, you know, 100% of the viewport width and viewpoint height so that it kind of covers all the space over here and then uh, in order to make sure that I have this 3D kind of feel and look I have to actually assign the perspective property to the parent container of my elements right so which is this one which I define here perspective 100 pixel and what it represents is actually the distance between my eyes, you know, essentially to, you know, the, the, the Z uh, plane in my 3D space. For those of you who don't know what exactly that means, I actually found this very cool image. So if you imagine that this is your screen, we have three axes and accordingly we have three planes, right? So we have x-axis, we have y-axis, and we have z-axis, right? And you can see that they are perpendicular to each other. So if you've used the transform property in CSS and specifically the translate, you know, whenever you want to move something to the right, the right of your screen, you know, you always use translate x. Uh, if you want to go up and down, you use positive or negative values of translate y. And for this specific tutorial, where we're dealing with 3D space, we are actually utilizing the translate Z property, right? And when we're talking about the planes, so actually a plane of an axis is the one that is perpendicular to that axis. So basically this is the Z plane. So when I'm talking here about the distance between my eyes or your eyes to you know, the Z plane, the Z plane is actually the screen that we are looking at, right? So you can see that things get smaller, you know, when we go through to the kind of uh, towards the negative or the less uh, values on the Z axis, right? I hope this description is pretty clear. Uh, so, and we have another thing here, define perspective origin, which I will get back to it. So, for the cards, I used, you know, absolute positioning so you can freely move them around. And then I gave it a box shadow, you know, background, pretty simple stuff, right? 
And then in order to have this kind of feeling, I said that I want the cards that are uh, the cards that uh, to be having an opacity of 0 0.9, but not the first one. So you can see that this doesn't have any opacity, but the other ones have uh, 0 0.9 opacity on a scale of 0 to 1. And then what I did in order to position them, uh, I used transform translate 3D. So minus 50%, minus 50%, and then 40 pixels. And this is the more important thing you need to know. This is the Z value. So basically, the bigger the Z value, the bigger your object, right? So as you can see, all of these divs, or all of these cards, have the same width and height. But I controlled the distance using this value. So the first one, the first card, has a Z uh, value of 40 pixel. The second card is a Z value of 30 pixel. Uh, and third, third and fourth as well, you know. So basically the fourth card is uh, the one that looks smaller because it's further away, you know, from the camera. And then on the X value and Y value, you use minus 50% to kind of center, you know, these divisions on the screen because when I define the card styles, I gave it a left of 50% and top of 30%. And uh, you could see that it's actually pretty easy to make, uh, to put uh, elements in the 3D space. But the most important thing right now, if you want to get the feeling of 3D, even though you stack them up, if you don't define this perspective origin on the parent container, you won't see the uh, 3D, right? So if I remove this, right? If, though, though the important thing is that since I define the top value to be 30%, right? So all these guys in the 3D space are a little bit higher than the center, right? Vertically, they are not centered. Even though they are horizontally, they are not vertically. So the top value is actually 30%. And since we are looking at it, from exactly the center, because I removed the perspective, you will see that they pile up like this. But that's not my intended, you know, look. What I do is that I define this perspective origin 50% horizontally, which means that I'm exactly sitting in the center from the horizontal perspective. But then from the vertical perspective, you could see that on a scale of 0 to 100%, I gave it 10%, which means that I'm looking from, you know, somewhere up here right so that you can see these from from the top right so if i change this value you know to something more than 50 percent uh you will see that it will actually you know as if you are looking from down right and just to just to prove that if you use 50 percent and give 50 percent which is because the position of our cards all of them have this top of 30 percent you get this feeling that you're looking at it from down because they are a little bit higher. But if I change this value to 50%, you will see, boom, you don't see any 3D effect, right? So, boom. And there you go. I'm going to look at it from top. So this is the vertical. So the second parameter is vertical positioning of the perspective origin. The less uh, value you give it, it means that you're looking at your 3D space from a higher position. So, yes, that, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna share this, uh, the link to this uh, sort of prototype in the, in the description. Please go ahead and ask any questions that you might have. And uh, I'm gonna be creating the second one uh, soon. So stay tuned. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I wish you a very nice day or night. Goodbye.